it's Kid Steph and welcome back to another video. I'm sorry if you can hear vacuum noises right now. My sister's vacuuming the house. Anyways, so if you can tell by the title of this video, I am scrapbooking today. If you haven't already, I filmed a vlog and a haul video from my New York trip that I went to in November and I've been waiting to make a scrapbook of it. I've never made a scrapbook before. But this was one of my favorite trips of all time because one, it's such an iconic place and then two, I got to go with my friends. It was like a, a senior trip sort of deal and it was literally so fun it, and I wanted to make a scrapbook because I there's so many pictures, there's so many iconic things that happen that I just want to, you know, remember forever in a scrapbook form and I've never done that and I'm really surprised I haven't because I love this kind of stuff. <laughs> But basically, you're, I'm gonna, you're gonna scrapbook with me because we are all practicing self-distancing, self-quarantining. Is quarantining a word? I don't know. Because I'm not hanging out with people today or who knows when, I'm gonna be scrapbooking. Like, I've been putting this off for a while for some reason and it just happens that I finally got my pictures developed. I finally got the scrapbook and everything ready right when this virus hit and everybody's like struggling to figure out what to do at their houses and this is like the perfect thing to do with your spare time this is the scrapbook that i got it's just super blue i'm i'm gonna replace this picture of probably the statue of liberty i accidentally when i developed all these photos i forgot to develop a photo to fit in here so i'm kind of upset with myself so i might have to develop a single picture at walgreens the inside's just white like there's no fun colors which kind of sucks but i think it's fine like i'm really excited about this so i got this from amazon but we're not ready to actually be scrapbooking yet first we're going to prepare our photos so these are all the photos that i like got developed so basically here i'm going to show you these are four by sixes if i wanted to put a bunch of four by sixes in there i could only put like two per sheet so what i decided to do was uh go on my phone and go on pic collage if you guys know what that app is and i basically put two photos in one so that i could just i'm just gonna cut them out and so the pictures are smaller i could fit more on a page and plus i saved a lot of money because i only printed half as many photos as i was going to not only do i have these pictures i also have like my flight tickets and here's our ticket to when we went on the boat to see the statue of liberty i have a couple like backstage tours that we got to go on like these things i'll have to cut off the string yeah so i have a bunch of things that i saved from this trip so it's gonna be photos tickets like this is gonna be fun <laughs> right now all i'm gonna do is kind of chill and talk with you guys and i'm gonna be cutting these Sometimes I am not very good at cutting these, I will say. Like some of these, like I'll show you. Look how thin it printed over here. Like that's how thin I have to cut on that one side. Also, that's funny. That's my friend Grant. <laughs> for context for that, that was when we went to the Rockettes um, Christmas Spectacular. And they gave us 3D glasses because it was part of it was in 3d which was interesting so that was grant with those glasses all on well i guess i kind of explained this i said earlier that this was this new york trip was kind of like my senior trip basically and so that means it's my senior year of high school so this whole situation with the virus and everything is actually very tough for me because everybody in class of 2020 like we don't know what's gonna happen to us with our graduation with our prom so usually our prom is always like the first or second week of may like that's always been our school's prom but for some reason this year they were like oh we're gonna have it april 18th i didn't care all that much until now until you realize that majority of 
um, businesses and concerts are being closed down until the beginning of April. That's what's concerning is that's pretty close to my prom. So gonna be honest, I do not know what's gonna happen to us. I will say that graduation is much more important to me than prom is, but it's still, you know, like very upsetting. this much done and I still have that much to go it doesn't look like a lot but it's a lot so I'm gonna do the rest off camera and then we'll kind of do like the start to like plan out sort of thing this is gonna be definitely a multiple day event I just finished cutting everything and now I'm kind of like trying to like organize them into each day i definitely want this to be in order and right now i'm kind of confused because we only went there for five days but i started out with like six piles so we're, we're trying to figure out which days were which i'll update you later hello another update time so my arm is killing me probably because i've been like hunched over like trying to organize these pictures on the floor so I did it by days and then I also <laughs> just did it by events so here I'll show you a little bit um, so that's day one day two day three day four day five as you could tell day one was super jam-packed with a bunch of stuff so I basically did it by like every place we visited day two I guess we didn't do that much I guess my next step is really organizing what pictures go where so I need to I guess I'll start recording that right now. I'm gonna start kind of sketching out what everything looks like. All right, guys, so I'm now, hello. I know you can't see me, but I thought this was a good angle to like kind of show um, how I'm gonna lay things out. I forgot to show you guys, but I have these two stickers. This is a New York um, sticker pack, and then these are just like traveling sticker packs. This is gonna be the title page. So I'm gonna put this like right here, but then right above it, I'm gonna put destination. So it's gonna say destination, New York. I might use uh, this sticker, I'm not sure yet. So that's page one. And now I'm just gonna go through and kind of try to lay out what I think should happen for each page. I think I'm done for the day. I, I'm i so done with this right now. But this is kind of crazy. So here is all the photos. Yeah, so each page is a stack. And it's kind of crazy because I literally have it so that the whole thing is filled except for this one sheet right here. So that means some of these pages are like stacked with pictures and it's like kind of cramped it kind of sucks because the consistency throughout it is going to be a little off some are kind of like full and then some are like mm. but that means the full pictures i might be able to like squeeze them into two if i wanted to which is cool yeah so that's going to be it for today i'm going to start like pasting it tomorrow how exciting. All right, y'all. It is like two days later or something. This process has been so long. I've done a lot of it. Like, I'll go more into detail when I'm like done done. So I'm going to film myself, do like the fun, like that's all I have left. Right now I'm working on the um, Statue of Liberty portion of when we got to see that.
this is really exciting. So I just finished the scrapbook. Okay, the only thing that I have to do is put a New York uh, photo in there. But we're gonna go through it really quick. I'm just gonna flip through it and it'll be really quick. But you can pause the video, I guess. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really excited that I finally got this finished. Um, this was something I was really looking forward to. So I'm glad it's done. And actually I'm kind of sad it's done because it was really fun to do. And I hope you guys enjoy looking at the process of me making it. <laughs> Beth's laughing at me. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the process. And let me know if you like videos like this. Be sure to give this video a like and comment down below. The link to all my social media is in the description. And my first link in the description is to my merch. So if you want a Coot Step shirt, go down there. And if you're not already a Cootie, be sure to subscribe to be a part of the Coot Clan. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!